This video goes over how to navigate Newsilla as a student. Therefore, students will know how to access their assignments from teachers, how to explore using the library function, how to narrow down their search and save articles, and then how to use collections and text sets, where to find quizzes, summary pages, and activities. Newsilla is a great tool for learning about any subject ranging from science to social study while also practicing reading comprehension, learning new vocab, and enhancing other language arts skills. This tutorial shows how students view Newsilla and how they can navigate the system, save articles, find assignments, etc. When you open your Newsilla, this is the student home view and it will first show your assignments. So there's two assignments down here and then to access them, all you do is click on the assignment. So let's click on this one and then it tells you the instructions up here. Highlight words you don't understand, take the quiz and write a summary of what the main point of the article was. So we click on the article and then within here, the assignment is also showing up here. So we can always look at the instructions again. And then we go down and we read the article. It tells you the word count, who it's by. So as you're reading through the article, you can highlight things Write something about that. Choose the highlight color. And you can always delete these. So you do this highlighting to take notes as you read through. And then any of the underlined words you click on. And it tells you the definition of that word. So you can go through and see what the words mean. And these are called power words. So press got it if you understand the word. When you get to the end of the article, press take the quiz if your teacher wants you to and you go through and select the correct answers, press next, and then at the end when you press submit, it will tell you you did not answer like it just did, and it will tell you your score. And you can also practice the power words. Press on the answer that matches this. For example, which sentence is an example of the word heightened? The rain got much, much worse over the last 10 minutes, or there was steady rain for the last 10. So heightened would be this one. And you press check answer, and it tells you if you got it correct or wrong and your overall score. So you can also save this article if you find it interesting. And once you've saved it, you can go to Save by You and the article will be available in Save by You. So let's go back to the main screen by pressing on the Newsla icon and it will take you back to your assignments. You can also go to Explore from this screen. And on Explore, it shows you many Power Word articles, and you can save the articles you think are interesting. For example, if you want to read this one, you can save, scroll down, see if any of these ones you want to save, or you can go to the library. When you press on Library, it gives you a lot more options to narrow down your choices. For instance, if I'm in middle school, I press middle school, I can press text level, so if I'm in eighth grade, press eight, and then the reading skill that you want to work on, for example, if I want a multimedia, and then we press on that, the article that we want. We can read through it ourselves and then take the quiz on it or save the article. Now that I've saved the article, let's go back to the library. Under the library tab, you can choose what subject you want. You can look at different news or text sets. So this is another important tool to know about. When you go to text sets, you can look at text sets for specific subjects. For instance, I'll show you text sets for science, and this includes a bunch of different texts, for instance, all about volcanoes. So if you press on this, it will have many different articles about volcanoes. So if you go back, you can save an entire text set to your library. So let's do that. I want to save that one too. So now if we go to Save by You, those text sets will be available in the Save by You tab. And then if you go down text sets at your school, it shows you any text sets that teachers have created. For instance, the one I created, and then Julie L's text set. So these are the ones available at Tananaw. And then if you go to collections, there's a seventh grade social studies collection available to all Fairbanks students. And this one has a unit on geography skills and North America. So if you are in seventh grade and you're taking social studies, this might be a good resource to go to. To add a class to Newsilla from the home screen, go to your name, which is in the top right corner, press on it, and then from here you can type in a class code, and then press add class, and that is how you sign up for more classes. And then if you want to look at your progress, you go to binder, your progress, and you can look at by class, by what type of skill, and if in just English or English and Spanish. So, And then down here you can see when you were assigned it and when you worked on it. So that is how a student navigates Newsla.